Wix app tutorial, how to use the Wix app step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with the Wix application. So let's get into it. Now the Wix app has two apps actually. So they have two apps. One is the Wix studio and then one is the actual Wix app. So if you go into the app store over here, you will find the Wix owner. And then you will also find another application, which is called Wix Studio. Now, both of these can be used to build your Wix website. The Wix Studio version is a bit more updated. It has some more upgraded features that can help you in bettering your website. And you can stay in control with all of their basic options. However, you can download any one of these applications. Keep in mind that if you want to edit your website on Wix, you can do that with the Wix website editor application, not the studio application. So if you do want to build your website, you do have to go with the Wix owner one. Now to get started, we will continue on to our Wix account. I already have a Wix account, so I'm just logging in. It's pretty much the same as you would on desktop. Now, once we have done that, we will continue on our owner app. Now from here, you can click on add on the bottom and you can add different functionalities to your website. Now, if you haven't created a website, simply click on create new on the bottom and then choose the type of website you want to build. So let's say I want to build a beauty based business and it's called Priscilla like this. And then I'll just click on next. Now, let's say I just want it to be based on blogs. Yeah. And then I'll click on done. Now, after that, the Wix website builder will start finding the appropriate templates and building our website for us. Now, you can customize it just like you would on your desktop. Obviously, there are certain limitations when you are building on your phone, but honestly, considering how customizable Wix really is, you really can customize it to a very large extent, even while you are using the mobile application. I'm just going to let this be continued on over here and then click on continue to editor. Now this will open up the Wix website mobile editor, just like it usually it opens up the Wix website editor on your desktop. And then this will show you the basic template. Now from here on the bottom, you have the pages section and you can remove any pages that are not necessary. So the booking page is not necessary and I will delete that. And now I can go into our home page. Now this is the home page that it has built and we can go on ahead and click on themes on the bottom. I'm going to click on themes and I can choose a theme that fits my brand better. So let's say I want to go with a elegant theme and then I'll just click on done. And this particular theme will be applied throughout my site. Now you can see you also have a more section where you can choose to, you know, get some more help and hire professionals if you are ever feeling like you need an extra boost on your website. Now, after that, you can click on any section you want. So let's say that we have our header over here. I can click on this and I can upload my logo. I have the business name. I have the socials account. Then we have our next section, which is a welcome section. If I don't want this particular section to be added, what I can do is I can click on manage sections over here. And let's say I want to remove the services section. I'll delete that. And I want to delete the code section as well. And the welcome section like this. I can just delete these sections. And if there's anything else I want to add, I can click on add and I can choose the type of section I want to create. If it's a text rich section, I can go with and with a testimonial, maybe gallery items. Maybe I want to show my Instagram feed, whatever you want. You can display that. Now I want to replace this image. So to do that, just click on the image and then click on replace. And let's say I want to use this one instead. And then I'll just click on done over here. And then on the bottom, you will see the title. Now it says about Priscilla. And then it says it has the description and the subtitle. Now, if I want to keep it the same, I can update it as it is just with the image update. However, you do want to input your own website information. So we are going to wait for the image. Now we can just click back on the text and then we can change the text over here. So where we started. Let's say I want to rename the section to where we started and I'm just going to click on done 
and then click on done on the top right. And now this will update our section to say where we started. Now, obviously when you're saving your updates, it might take a little bit of time, but making these changes is very simple. Now you can click on pages over here and click on the plus icon on the top right to add further pages. Let's say if I want to add products, I can do that as well. If I don't, I can remove it as well. Now, once you have completed building your website, you can go on ahead and choose to publish it. Now, currently our website is not published. Uh, we just saved our basic website. So you can click on the website over here and you will see the site level. So this is currently not published. And then I can click on publish on the top right and I can click on continue editing. And now my website is being published as you guys can see. Now, once we have done that, we can click on view to actually view our site. So you can open your site up in your browser to see what it's going to look like. Now, after that, you will be, once you exit the website editor, you will be led to the Wix dashboard. In your dashboard, you have a few different things. So if you go into the home section, you will find your basic analytics, contacts, and invoices. Then you have the add section from where I can get started with actually building our blog. So we can continue on over here and start building our blog. So how to lose stubborn baby fat like this and whatever is your blog you know i'm just going to leave it like this and then just click on next and then you have your post settings in this as well so you can choose when you want to post let's say i want to post right now and then you have the writer where you can choose a writer if you are running a blog and you have other people in that particular blog as well then you have the excerpt, which is the summary of your blog. And then you can choose if you want to set this as a featured post. So I will set this as a featured post. And then you can also insert your cover images within that as well. Now, after that, you have the related posts option where you can link a few related posts. Then you have the categories where you can build categories within your Wix blog as well. Then you have tags. And then you also have SEO that you can optimize all on your phone. And then just click on save and then click on save and publish or schedule depending on when you want to make your blog live. Now, these are all the amazing things that you can do directly on your phone on Wix. You can get started with a blog right away with any kind of website. And then if you go into the Wix Studio app, this is a version of the Wix app that allows you to build a workspace and it just makes it a bit easier for you to navigate through the day to day of your website. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with using the Wix mobile application. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.